Hello everyone, how are you? My name is KnowHow92 and today I'm gonna show you how to work your way around Neox Maker Autonius Foundation Trading Tool. For those of you who don't know, the airdrop is live from the 31st of January. Airdrop is a campaign by Autonius Foundation and all you have to do to get your hands on some free Neox Autonius Foundation token is to test out their Neox Maker. Well, you earn one Neox, that's around 5 cents for every minute you run the Neox Maker. The earn drop campaign ends on the 9th of February, so you still have 3 days to farm that Neox and test out this uh, sweet tool. Let's cut the crap and let me show you how to use Neox Maker. First things first, you need to go to maker.otonio.foundation, uh, log in uh, with your Metamask wallet and right after that go to your preferred exchange and uh, get API keys. I'm using Binance, so I'm just clicking here, API management, uh, create an API, copy my passwords, uh, my API passwords and paste them at the settings right there. These are the three exchanges uh, you can connect your Neox Maker. As I told you, I'm using Binance, so I'm just gonna click on Binance, click on update keys, key updated successfully, close, and now it's time to start trading, guys. We're going to the market maker. Now, uh, here is uh, where you can set up uh, your trading strategies. Let's check out uh, some stuff. Main settings. There are three settings. The smart market maker. This is ideal for market making in extreme conditions where swings are high in volatility. For example, 20% swings within five minutes. This will increase your probability of a return in an extreme market and could, could also, I'm sorry, be used in less volatile conditions. The non-stop market maker, this setting uh, keeps making the market as per your setting without taking into consideration any of the price swings, ideal for a very choppy two-way market. And the taker bot, the simple trading tool, uh, this setting plays uh, market buy and sell orders once in a set refresh time. Now, depending on the coin you will choose to trade, you can choose uh, your preferred uh, setting. I'm gonna choose the smart market maker. I'm gonna choose Binance Exchange and now it's time to choose one of the thousands of pairs on Binance Exchange. I'm gonna use uh, the ETH USDT uh, pair. There it is, ETH USDT. Refresh time. I'm gonna uh, choose 15 seconds. Uh, there's nothing you can do here, <laughs> just leave it like uh, it is, base order size. Now, the order size of ETH. So, if you want to use Autonius Foundation Trading Tool, the Neox Maker, you must have uh, at least $10 worth of FED at your Binance account and also $10 worth of USDT, because I chose the ETH USDT pair. About the order size, I have a little more than $10 of ETH uh, in my Binance account. There it is, 0.007 ETH. I'm copying this, hopefully. <laughs> okay. There it is, copying it and pasting it right there. Now, the buy spread. Let's check this out. Amount of spread calculated in normal percentage is called normal spread. This field gets filled with the current market spread of the selected pair by default. Now, that's a very low buy and sell spread. You need to choose a buy and sell spread that covers at least uh, your trading fees on the exchange you chose to trade. So, I'm just gonna use 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Now, advanced settings, rotate orders. Let's check this out. If rotate orders order, I'm sorry, is enabled, the bot will place one order at a time. It will place buy order and it will wait for refresh time. Our refresh time is 15 seconds, as you can see right here. Then cancels it upon reaching refresh time and places sell order, then waits for another refresh time, then repeats the same pro process, I'm sorry. I do not uh, use uh, this setting, I do not use this setting too, it allows you to set a price band within which your bot places both buy and sell orders normally. The only one I'm uh, clicking is the hanging orders, it allows you to keep the placed order hanging if one of the orders gets filled. If your buy or sell gets filled, then it will not cancel the other side of the order, but it will keep it hanging in the order books. Now, since I want to stack as many Neox as I can, and since we are earning one Neox every minute of running the Neox Maker, I'm uh, always using this setting. Uh, so, 
I'm waiting for my orders, my automated orders to be fulfilled and uh, this takes time. So it's a win for me. Now let's click on start trading. And that's pretty much it guys. A window will pop up right here and it uh, will contain all the information you're gonna need. F in use, uh, my F in use, USDT in use, number of orders, number of trades, my starting balance and my ending balance. You can also check out your profits and losses uh, and you can also share your results on Twitter, Telegram, Discord, Facebook. Let's check out Binance. Uh, there are my automated orders. It's time to let the Neox Maker do its magic, do the heavy lifting and it's time for me to chill and drink my morning coffee while I'm stacking them Neox and hopefully earning uh, some more. There it is, I'm one cent up. I'm 0.03% up. Ho ho! Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope this tutorial was useful. You still got three days to stack them Neox and test out the Autonius Foundation Neox Maker Trading Tool. I'm super bullish on Neox and I think this is a super great opportunity to get my hands on some more of these tokens. Thanks for watching once again guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Much love to everyone and keep stacking them crypto. Yo, peace.